Please join me in welcoming to the stage the leaders of the Belarusian opposition and the leaders of the central right coalition, our EPP family members, Volga Kalakova, member of the Presidium of the Coordination Council, Vital Rimashevsky, co chairman of Belarusian Christian Democracy, Mikolai Kazlu, chairman of the Uni United Civic Party, and Yuri Hubarecevic, chairman of the Movement for Freedom. Please give them an applause. Thank you. Well, we are very honored to have you here at the stage, um, the stage with our team on our Congress. We stand with democracy. Because, ladies and gentlemen, these brave women and men are standing as a united front against the op oppression of the Lukashenko regime and fighting for democracy in their country. You saw it seen it on the, on the video. To speak on behalf of the Belarusian opposition, please join me now in welcoming two-time Nobel Prize, Peace Prize nominee Svetlana Tsinevikovskaya here at the stage. Please welcome. Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. In this beautiful hall, the Eurovision Song Context was held exactly one year ago. And I'm thankful that I don't have to compete in a song contest for your attention. And I'm happy to be here at the EPP Congress because I know that I'm here among friends. Friends, Friends who share the same values and my belief in free, democratic Belarus. For many years, EPP was a driving force that supported Belarus democracy in European Parliament and beyond. Let me also express my admiration and respect for Belarus members of the EPP family, United Civic Party, Belarus and Christian Democracy, and the Movement for Freedom. Together, we held a powerful campaign in 2020, followed by a democratic uprising and brutal crackdown. Many of us were sentenced, tortured, and forced into exile. But never, and I say never, we gave up. Dear friends, Dear friends, I would like to repeat one obvious but sometimes forgotten fact. Belarus is Europe. Belarus is not Russia. And it became evident when Lukashenko tried to drag our country into Russia's war against Ukraine. And Belarusians put all their efforts into helping our Ukrainian neighbors. 1,500 people were detained for anti-war movement in February and March. More than 80 acts of sabotage have been carried out by partisans inside Belarus. And more than 1,500 volunteers joined Belarusian battalions in the Ukrainian army. Therefore, it's crucial to distinguish the regime and the people of Belarus tirelessly fighting against tyranny. Help the people and punish the regime. On one hand, open doors for Belarusian students, support free media, and welcome businesses fleeing Belarus, 
help those who are fighting on the ground. Consider unilateral visa free for Belarusians. What a powerful message it could be. On the other hand, strengthen sanctions, both personal and sectoral. And sanctions shouldn't be a bargaining chip. The regime now tries to lift sanctions, therefore it blackmails the world with hunger. So don't make deals with dictators. They cannot be appeased. And of course, don't bargain on political prisoners, who are in fact hostages. There are more than 1,200 of them at the moment, and all of them must be released unconditionally. Some of them might face the death sentence, according to a new law signed by illegitimate Lukashenko. He can kill opponents, but he can't silence an entire nation. In 2020, we won the right to decide our own future as a nation. We showed that Belarus is not Russia. We started our path to democracy and freedom. We are European nation with our own language, identity, and history. And this path leads Belarus to where it historically belongs to Europe. It also opens a question of the European perspective for our nation. We are seeking a form of a partnership that would solidify our place in the European family. And I'm sure that this, this path to peace in Europe goes through freedom in Belarus. The path to peace in Europe leads through the victory of Ukraine. And I know it's a difficult path, but that's the only right one. So let's walk this path together. Because only when we walk together, we are Europe. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you for all your meaningful words. It's really impressive. Give them a big hand. Thank you.